am Dan, and I'm back again to talk to you about some more Data Vault questions and answers. Hopefully you're finding this whole series of videos, well, maybe not entertaining, maybe it is, uh, but anyway, the question that I'm going to try to answer for you today is, can I use a Data Vault as a Master Data Management solution or an MDM solution? And the short answer is no. You can't use a data vault model as a master data management solution. And let me tell you why. The data vault model is built for historical data and it's built to track all of the changes over time. But more importantly, it's built to house the good, the bad, and the ugly data, all the data, whether it's been cleansed or not, whether it's been uh, merged or messed with, or whether it's original data. It really isn't master data. It's not golden copy. Even though it's current, it's not golden copy. Now that said, can the data vault model, there's another question here, can the data vault model help you build your master data management solution? And that answer is yes. It can help you kickstart your process or getting into master data management if that's what you really want to do. And by that, what I mean is it can, you've already identified, if you've done your hubs properly, you've already identified your business keys that you need to roll up under for your master data or your golden copy information. So you can actually initially populate your master data model. And I don't recommend the data vault for use as your master data model. So you'd want to change the modeling style. And, uh, and another thing, you, you want to roll together the satellites and the hubs or the links and its corresponding hubs and you sort of want to denormalize and go back to a more of a third normal form like model for your master data set and that's more powerful because the master data solution or the master data set or database will house only current information it'll house business quality cleansed information it'll house one copy of that record with one copy of that key so you're going to be able to answer the question, how many customers do I have? And it's all going to be integrated, right? So all integrated up to a master key that someone is blessed. Uh, keep in mind that master data management involves people, process, and technology, which means that it brings in uh, data management principles, including governance and oversight and tracking. And so what happens is the master data data set starts off downstream from the data vault because you initially populate it from the data vault because you've done a lot of work you want to kick start and immediately as soon as the data is populated or pushed in it becomes an upstream system it becomes a source system why it's a master system to everything in the business all of your operational systems are going to be fed from your master data system all of your operational systems are now going to rely on it your business is going to be run off of your master data. That's the whole point of having master data. So at that point it becomes an upstream system, an operational source to your data warehouse and then you begin feeding all of the master data just as any other source system right back into your data vault. So you're now capturing the changes of anything that occurs to that master data set in your data vault along the way. So again the short answer to the question can I use a data vault model as my master data management solution, the, the short answer is no. You can't and you shouldn't. Uh, the second question being, can I use the data vault model or data vault warehouse as a process or a kickstart to, uh, uh, to my master data management project? And that answer is definitely yes. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little tidbit of information. Um, and if you like it, uh, give me some comments below. I'd love to hear from you on topics or questions that you might have that you want to see me uh, put on video. So please, um, love to talk to you. Let me know uh, what kind of challenges you're engaged in. Uh, this is Dan, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.